Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Chazay bringing you a new video on Duel Links and today I have unlocked Visionary. I got a Shizu to level 45 and we are going to be looking at the brand new card that she came with at level 45, which is Visionary, I believe. Gravekeeper Visionary. Is it called Visionary? Please be called Visionary or else I'm going to look very stupid. Yep. It's Gravekeeper's Visionary. I've made a Gravekeeper deck and I'm going to be testing it on PvP and then after a few duels and stuff I'm going to tell you if it's worth grinding a Shizu to level 45 faster than you usually would. This is the deck I got. The spell and traps look a little bit messy but I just want to test out a few things with it. Um, this as well, Gravekeeper's Steal because target two Gravekeeper in your graveyard and add, again, add them to your hand which is very powerful for um, Visionary. Because you contribute that basically with one Gravekeeper monster. It gains 200 for each Gravekeeper in your graveyard, which is pretty cool. If this card would be destroyed, you can discard one Gravekeeper monster from your hand instead. So, obviously we'll be recycling Gravekeepers if we keep using Steel. Well, we are only running one, because I want to test it. I'm actually going to take that out and I might, might add two Steel, but I might just keep it at one for now. Um, I've only got one Arrivals in here because we all know Arrivals is pretty good with Grave Keepers, but I don't know if it's going to be good for Visionary, so we're going to test out with one. Um, what can I replace that with? I might throw in a Double Summon, actually. Double Summon might work pretty well. Let me just... Ooh. Actually, no, Double Summon is best, I think. So let me just search up Double Summon and throw that into the deck. Um, I could add, I'm going to test out like loads of different decks with Visionary, because Visionary is a very, very cool card. Um, I was thinking about running, what's it called, Rebirth, but then Rebirth is just going to special summon a monster to the field, and it could work out, but at the same time we want the monsters in our hand or in the graveyard. So I don't know, this looks kind of okay I guess. We can test it out, see how it goes. I might actually swap out. The arrivals for a third econ. Just to see how it goes. And I might drop that Oracle down to one, but we'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, I'm gonna test it like this, see how it does. Hopefully it all goes well. Let's jump into some PvP with it. I'm super happy that Visionary is a card in the game and it it's it's just a cool card in general. Let's see if we can pop off. Look at them losses, by the way. I was testing out some decks last night. Didn't go too well for me. But hey, we have a Visionary now. Let's see how good it can do. I have high, high, high hopes for Visionary. For simple fact, you guys know how much I do love my Gravekeepers. And I did make a video a few days ago asking for Gravekeeper support. And we got it kind of in the form of Visionary. Which is really cool. Um, I'm running the deck with balance. I don't know if it's going to be better with Power of the Dark or Restart, and there's some other stuff that you can run with it. But we're going to just test it out with balance on a Shizu because the Shizu Gravekeepers. And what a brick. Hopefully, we can draw into a low level monster, or else this is going to be a very, very bad time for us. Except he's running. Oh, maybe he got Jesse to level 45 and he's running the new um, Crystal Beast deck. That'll be really awesome to see if he is because. Then we can see firsthand if the level 45 Crystal Beast card's any good. Let's see if we brick. Of course we brick. Why wouldn't we? <laughs> All three chiefs. I call Goldfish. Royal Flush. I don't know. Hopefully we'll join to um, a lower level monster. This is when Soul Exchange might have come in handy, but then again, nah, it's not too great. Let's see what he does. Is he just going to go in for an attack? Crystal Power. We can save ourselves this turn with the Curse of Anubis. Unless he has Magic Arrows. He doesn't have the Magic Arrows, so we'll activate Curse of Anubis this turn. Protecting our life points. Because we would have been on 200 HP, and that is a no-go. i got a feeling we're drawing into a Spell or Trap right now. We need to draw into Recruiter, really. Yeah, that, 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 that does not look good for us. So I'm just going to surrender that duel. Feels bad, man. That is not a very good um, way to show off the deck. By opening up with three Chiefs. I might actually lower Chief down to two. Because um, Chief is a very strong unit in Gravekeepers. But we're trying to work with uh, Visionary. So it might not be like the best card. So I might lower Chief down to two. 
and increase the amount of four stars. I think I'll do that after this duel. I just want to test out Visionary, get it on the field and see if we can pop off of it. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, I think we definitely need to lower the amount of um, high level monsters we have. Ooh, yeah, I know, I might try it with Baggy Sleeves. Gravekeeper Baggy Sleeves used to be a very cool deck. Are we going first as well? Uh, I think we are. Hopefully we don't get OTK'd. Pepe hands. Right, we're gonna see Sangan hit Sangan. Um Senju hit the field, ritual monsters come out, um Dakini fly out onto the field with a Sephira. Or just throws three back row. Hey Archfiends. I'm okay with that. So he's got Call of the Archfiend 100 percent at the back row. Because And he has needle nest, most likely. And that's a dead hand. So we are going to, yeah, yeah, Needle Nest, woo, congratulations, have a free win. So right now what I'm going to do is go inside the deck and take out two Chief. Actually, I'm going to take out um, one Oracle and one Chief and add in two more Priestess. Oh, I'm already running. Yeah, because... I was running like three um, recruiter and two prince princess priestess, but I couldn't just I couldn't draw them. This is looking a lot better for monsters. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. because recruiter is a really good searcher within the deck. I'm thinking of if I should add another gravekeeper monster right now. Feels bad, man. I don't know. Let's see. I could add the powerful rebirth. Um, what do I want to do? What what do I want to add? I'm actually liking the way it looks right now. But I could drop one chief, I guess. I'm going to drop one chief and add in... Grave Keepers. You. Actually, I like the spear dude. He's cooler. Piercing damage and what not. Do I want to add a spear dude? Spear dude will work. Sure, I'll add a spear dude. I don't want to add a spear dude, actually. Um, I know what I can add. I've got spellcasters. I really can't wait for spellbooks to come out because I really want to. I'm going to test out spellbook. Dark Magic, no, no, Spellbook, Gravekeepers, because I got a feeling that might work, which would be really cool to see. Um, I did try Lila in the deck, but that really, really did not work for us. Actually, I'm going to run Shushi for my bad. Sorry about the delay. It's just I want to make the deck as um, good as I can. I should have done this off camera, obviously. <laughs> um, two doublesmen, no. Um, might just throw in the one. The one rebirth. Take out that. Two rebirth, why not? Because re recruiter can get destroyed. Yeah, that. this looks better. This looks a lot better. Less chan um, chances of bricking. So let's go. The first build for the people who just jump into my video, grab the deck and fuck off. And um, that's going to be bad for them because obviously I've swapped around some cards, made the deck a little bit more consistent, and they're going to be using the inconsistent version. Then, they, then they're going to dislike the video, going to the comments and saying, "Yeah, deck sucks," but it's all good. I don't mind getting hate on my YouTube videos. I see. I just see it as um, criticism. And I take criticism to make my videos better and whatnot. There we go. That's a lot better. That's like a very balanced hand. Because Recruiter can search out Visionary really well. And um, Chief can special summon Visionary from the grave if Visionary does end up in the grave. 
Let's see what we're facing. Ooh, Destiny Heroes. This is going to be a very good matchup. I'm going to enjoy this. If we draw into double summon, I think we can OCK him. We can't anymore because he's going to bring out another Destiny Hero. Oh, it's nice. He's bringing out um, Drill Dark. Throwing his back row. Three back row. So we have double econ. That's pretty good for us, I guess. 1,500. This is when I wish I had Power of the Dark because it would have boosted its defense up a little bit and we could have been able to survive a normal attack from Drill Dark. But I'm just going to flood my back row as well. There we go. We have got Chief in the hand and Recruiter can search. So when Re Recruiter dies, we'll grab Visionary to the hand on my opponent. Then on my next turn, I'll activate Rebirth, bringing back my Recruiter. Tributing the Recruiter off and popping off like crazy, hopefully. We have plays, but it's my end turn and my opponent's like thinking about playing a card. He probably has Cosmic Cyclones. Hopefully he does not have the Cosmic Cyclones. We'll see. Come on, dude. Make your move. You're in King of Games with your Destiny Heroes of Destiny. And you're going to Rage Quit? He probably thinks it's aliens? Because Balance and threw three face downs. And a monster face down. Or he's going to disconnect. Feels bad, man. We opened up with such a good hand. I really wanted to play that duel through. Just to see if I could beat Destiny Heroes. Why did he have to leave? Come on. That's not annoying whatsoever. Let's go. I'll take them dice. I really dislike the fact that guy um, left. But hey, it happens. Because I had so much potential to pop off. Jaden Yugi. He's running restart with something most likely. Let's see. We're going second. Hopefully we can open up with the exact same hand as last duel. Because that was a very cool hand. I did like it. Ooh, this is a good hand as well. I'll take it. Priestess. I still think that we do need some more Gravekeeper support in the form of level 4 Gravekeeper monsters. Like maybe getting Spy and stuff like that. Gravekeeper Spy. And obviously getting a skill for the filled spell would be really amazing. But they won't do that because it'll kill most of the meta decks. Because Archfiends won't be able to use the graveyard and um, Sylvans won't be able to abuse the graveyard too much. And yeah. So we're facing Destiny Heroes again, which is pretty good for us, I guess. Double summon. Ooh, we could make plays. Could we go for the OTK? I could, uh, no, we can't. I'm just going to play it safe until the next turn, or try and play it safe until the next turn, and then try and pop off. We'll see what we do do. Do 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 do. Let's go. My end turn, is he going to wait 10 minutes and then rage quit? Nope. Let's go. So we actually have a proper duel on our hands. He most likely has the mask exchange in his hand. He is going to lock down my econ, but that's, that's game over. Especially if he plays the mask change. So let's go. We knew for a 100% he had the mass change, or else he would have reset his hand if he didn't have it. Feels bad, man. Because um, I wasn't sick around, because he obviously could have just destroyed my monster, attacked me directly, mask change, attack directly, game over. So there's no point in sticking around. This is a really weird day for Duel Links. First two, first two decks, well, duels... We completely bricked non-stop. Second duel, the guy rage quit on the end of my turn. And third duel, we just got absolutely destroyed because he locked down our econ. Our only... I think this is Destiny Heroes as well. And now we brick. This is a very, very weird day for um, Gravekeepers. There's like a 10% chance I'll scrap this video and remake it, but I don't think I will. I want to be as um, transparent as possible with you guys. As in, if I'm recording a deck and it flops, I want to show you guys that the, de the deck is bricking and flopping. Just so I'm not giving you a false perspective of a deck working all the time. I've told you that. I've told you that before. Hey, Trinade. Feels bad, man.
Are we going to see the mass change? If there's a delay with his attack. Oh no, he's going to set two. So we literally have to draw it into a low level monster to uh, do anything. Attack. Go. There we go. Because my thoughts on um, Duel Links YouTubers is they should be as transparent as possible with the decks that they use. Like, not just show the highlights of them winning, but also show highlights of them losing. Just to not give a false perspective on the deck. Because you never know, um, like, some kids might watch it go, oh, that deck's broken because the person's only showing highlights of wins. So they go out, use all the gems just to make that one deck for it to flop 20 times before it gets that one nice combo off. 800 life points in a dream. We still can come back. We have a very powerful back row. If he gets another hatred aid, that could be prob problematic for us. But we'll see. That is that. Why? 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 Feels bad, man. I'm going to keep going. It's been 16 minutes right now, and I've still not had one good draw. Gravekeepers, stop portraying me. Maybe um, restart is the way. The more you know. I really wish that I just kicked off this video, had some really amazing duels, lost some, won some, had some close duels, and then I could be like, hey guys, Gravekeepers is at, it's alright, it's alright, but no. Let's go. Is this going to be another Destiny Hero? I might as well just rename this video to... Gravekeepers versus Destiny Heroes. I think every duel has been versus Destiny Heroes. Actually, he's put a face down, so it's not Destiny Heroes. Um, I'll throw down Recruiter. Wall of D, end my turn. He's going to lock down the back row. Mask change. And do some very inappropriate things to my Recruiter. Let's see what he does, though. It's probably Sylvan's. I don't know why it could be running. Let's go. It's Destiny Heroes. Why would it not be Destiny Heroes? Let's go. But I guess if he doesn't hatronade our face down, we are in a better position than most. I think he's going to keep that face down, face down. Hey, a red eye slash dragon. We could actually screw that over pretty badly. So we're going to take quite a lot of light. Actually, no, screw that. I kind of, I'm going to let that attack go through. So I want my recruiters to die right now. Just... Wait, why can't I add Visionary? What is this shenanigans? Oh, 1,500. Ah, uh, its defense is too high. Feels bad, man. Um, why not? I'll grab another recruiter just to thin the deck a little bit more. He'll go in for an attack with that. And then I'll activate Wall. Maybe I should have kept the recruiter on the field. Like, Wall of Deed, and then I could have tributed, got Chief out, and then popped off. Oh well, the play's been made. This way our deck's a little bit thinner as well. So we can probably draw into something a little bit better. Let's see what we draw into. Another Wall of D. I guess that's alright for us. I'll throw a Recruiter down and face down and end the turn. Um, he could go into another Fusion Monster just to get his attack back on his monsters. I wouldn't attack with 1400 if I was him, but he's, he is going to go in for it. Ah, oh, quipping another. I'll like to fake Wall of E. Why not? He takes 1500 to the life points. What can we draw into? Visionary? Ah, oh, why are you not visionary? Nyeh. So, let's tribute that off a of Chief, activate Chief from the graveyard, blah 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 blah. The glossy one. I really want to get Visionary out. Um, sure, we'll grab that. The thing is, if we do kill his Slash Dragon... He gets to special summon two monsters, so screw that. I'm killing his. Um, I'm killing this.
We have so many monsters, but we haven't drawn like any of our support, really. Oh, that's a feels bad man. So he literally just needs to get out his fusion, and then he can get over us. He is going to throw his Slash Dragon into defense, which is smart. Um, yeah, he's going to attack over the Chief. He's most likely going to attack over the Chief anyway. There it is. If we draw into Visionary right now, we are set. My god, that's not Visionary. But what I will think I'm going to do is bring out Oracle, just so it thins the deck, because I'll be able to um, get a search off with the Recruiter. And I'm going to activate Oracle's first effect to gain all the attack. And then we'll just grab a our second chief. I think, yeah, grab the other chief. And I'm just going to actually add zero attack. Do I want to kill his monster? Or do I want to leave a monster with zero attack? I think I'm going to just kill it, just in case he wants to try and use it for a fusion. I don't know if you... Um, I might have wanted to leave it onto the field, I'm not too sure. So it, it's just a blank spot. Because right now he might be able to use his monster's effect from the graveyard to draw two cards. He is going to go in for battle, so he does have a mask change. There it is. We see the mask change going through, and this is going to be enough attack to kill us. Which is a feels bad man. If we drew into the visionary earlier, we would have been set. Plus we drew like into hardly any back row whatsoever. He is going to go for the direct attack of 1,400. That feels bad, man. I think Gravekeepers still need some work. I really did think um, Recruiter could search for Visionary. It's such a shame that he couldn't. Anyway, the video's been 20 minutes now, and we've only had like one semi-okay duel. So what I'm going to do, guys, is end the video here. Um, experiment with Gravekeepers off-camera. Um, think of a couple of like really random decks and stuff like that. Maybe wait until the spell books are out and test them with that. But yeah, I w I'm going to try and make Gravekeepers great again. So I hope you guys did, did enjoy the video. If you did, please leave a like on the video. It really helps our channel. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.